All right, guys, here we are hanging out, all these marketers here. Uh, I'm going to just throw out a question. Let's just kind of see where it goes. What would you like to see happen in the marketing industry in the years to come? Ooh, I've been thinking about this. What would you like to see? It's probably obvious to say, but it would be nice if there was um, less avatars, tricks, hacks, and if we could treat the people that we're trying to market to like they're people. Mm -hmm. Because the minute we take that hat off, we're someone else's target. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I don't want to be a target. I didn't grow up like my dream is to be someone else's avatar. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, if I could just be someone else's worksheet. Uh, that I'd love to see like, Hey, remember this is a human being like you or your mom, your sister, your brother. So mark it with that in mind. I think I'll piggyback that. Cause I love you're speaking to language and our choice of language and, and semantics matter. And what I'd love to see is this shift from objectifying, right? There's this sense of, well, you got to go hook your object. They're an object to go obtain so you can get your money, have your riches and scale your business. Why don't we change the language, right? And so I love obviously using my framework and framing it and like, you're making a human to human connection. Why don't we get people's attention to have a conversation and instead of, especially in our world of personal brands, not scale a business, but multiply something that's meaningful to give people the opportunity to build their own wealth, their own businesses off of the mess that you as a coach or consultant pulled people through and, and now they might sense a new purpose. So in the end, it's sort of that same idea, more humanity and less automated a-holes. <laughs> I'm going to jump in here. I think making sure that the integrity of marketing is really about serving and not about the bottom line and not about the data and not about the conversions and all that, but it's really serving to make sure that your client can reach their goals. I think once we get into that integrity piece, then the marketers, uh, kind of the image of used car salesman goes away. Would really love that to happen. I always feel bad for used car salesmen. They always get, <laughs> they always get the flack. But, but piggybacking on your point, and, and what you, you guys said, treating our customers like people, but I also feel like it's incumbent on business owners to act like people. Mm -hmm. Like you be a person. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it's easy to like spam, you know, bots <laughs> and all the things, you know, Facebook ads, you know, nine, nine, nine times until they click something. But like you got to act like a human. Any thoughts on that? Or especially, you know, authors and, and, and photographers and all that, yeah. I think from my perspective, working with a lot of authors, authors can sometimes be very focused inward because they're having to pull these vulnerable stories out and share a cohesive message with the world where marketing is, is now outward. You're trying to reach people and draw them to you and show them how the work can impact their lives in a positive, meaningful way. So I would really sum this up to be less of me as the marketer or the author and more of the reader or the consumer of your product or service. You have to switch from what can I create to help people to now how do I draw those people in and help them and journey alongside them. And that's what a good marketing campaign does is it helps you come alongside them. I want to go back to your old question, your first question. I, I'm just sick of manipulation. Yeah. Like we can feel it, the, the hair on the back of our neck, our spidey sense goes up when we know we're being manipulated. I mean, it just feels so inauthentic, like we're not serving our audience, like we're not, um, like we're just going off our worksheet. But if we could actually, as marketers, as, as marketing moves forward, that we can actually treat people like people, that means treat them with respect. Um, don't treat them like someone who, that we can easily con, essentially. And then maybe we won't all feel like used car salesmen as marketers because <laughs> yeah. we won't just be trying to make the sale. We'll actually be trying to serve our audience. And I think the root of what we're all kind of saying here is I think we need, all need to like slow down a little bit. We need to, I, I don't know about you, but I, I don't really like dance around my kitchen pointing at nothing and, you know, then invite like, and look, I, we all market, we're, we're sticking with the trends, but I think we need to slow down a little bit and alleviate the pressure on ourselves and even just on our clients. Our, our, we're all normal people. We all live normal lives. So as we market ourselves, 
we need to show more of who we actually are. And we get to dictate what that looks like, how much you want to share of your personal life. But I think, you know, hey, like this is me. This is my life. This is what a normal day looks like. I travel and do all these amazing, I'm with these amazing people. I love my life. But then there's other days that I'm up until three o'clock in the morning and it's not pretty, right? Um, I think we need to alleviate the pressure to perform. And, and I think that's kind of all what we're saying, like, Authenticity, we, we make fun of that word now because it has lost its meaning a little bit. I say that a lot. Um, I think that's what we're all getting at is just the desire to connect and be who we actually are because that's who people are actually attracted to, right? I mean, I could see Dwayne dancing for TikTok. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love a good kitchen dance session. Don't yeah. get me wrong, but I don't think of words to, to yeah. point to the screen. It's funny <laughs> because I'm like, then I'm thinking about Lindsay like trying to tell her authors. Hey, so if you want to really market your book, you're really going to learn how to need to learn how to dance. Protect <laughs> these and point. These are really critical skills for an author. Right. And right. like what right. you know? Let me show you how with my terrible dance moves. <laughs> right. But I will add to what you were saying. Yeah. Really, marketing is a relationship, not a transaction. Mm -hmm. And the way I get this across to my clients is to say, you know, if you go to coffee with someone for the first time. You should not sit down and go, hey, I'm Lindsay, I do this, I sell this, buy this. You build a relationship with that person and you listen to hear what's going on in their life and their circumstances. And, and then you try to provide what they need within the context of your expertise. Mm -hmm. And so if you're going to effectively market, you have to learn to listen well and then respond because ultimately we want them to feel cared for and encouraged and empowered through whatever choices they need to make or paths they need to move forward on in their life. Yeah. Well, I, I just appreciate you guys. Like, you're all wonderful people and all amazing marketers who do it the right way. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that's a rare breed. I really do. So um, while there's a lot of noise out there in the space and there's a lot of videos and all this, <laughs> not that we're talking about it, right? But we're not more like throwing shade at that, but it actually makes people who are uh, real uh, uh, stand out. So I'm just glad to know you guys and you guys do great work. So thanks for just coming, stopping by, stopping by the house today. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thanks for joining me today. Till next time, live your message, love your work, leave your mark on the world, and I will see you back here on the next episode.